Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. Still on the story that has been ravaging since we've been hearing about the former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, who was found on the street in Ogun State, where he was riding Kekenapeb. You know, carrying passengers from one location to another, carrying them from one place to their destination, dropping them. Uh, a lot of people were concerned because, you know, can you imagine? Obasanjo was a president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007. So how can a former president of Nigeria, you know, suddenly he decided to start riding Kekenape, not just riding for fun, but you know, carrying passengers. What is your thought to this? You know, when I heard about this, you know, I was equally surprised uh, that how come is Obasanjo doing this? Don't forget that during his uh, 85th birthday, he donated 85 tricycles to 85 persons, you know, as part of an empowerment program in honor of his 85th birthday now Omar Yeli Shore has now reacted to this that has happened saying that the ex-president of Nigeria Olusha Gomba Sonjo riding Kekena Pep is still of depravity wickedness he unleashed on Nigerians not worth celebrating that's what Shore has said and as we all know Shore is the presidential candidate of the AAC saying that what Abasanjo is doing is not worth celebrating. He said, it is a tale of wickedness. Depravity he unleashed on innocent Nigerians, probably when he was a leader, when he was in the number one office of Nigeria. What is your thought to this? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of what is actually happening. If you're coming across this channel for the very first time don't just watch and leave do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new update and also big shout out to our Disney subscribers I want to say big thank you to you for liking sharing commenting I want to employ you to continue to do so and as you do remain blessed now to the full gist of the news the presidential candidates of the African Action Congress AAC party Omoyele Shoare has scolded a former president Olusegun Obasanjo for riding a commercial tricycle, popularly called Keke Napeb, in Abeokuta, Ogun State. Shoare, a human rights activist in a Facebook post, said, The action of the former president wasn't a sign of simplicity but a tale of depravity occasioned by his wickedness of which he unleashed on the people during his tenure. Abbasanjo was in charge of the Nigerian government between 1999 and 2007, the foundational years of the economic recession, corruption, and instability, which the country is still grappling with. The former president had on Saturday turned himself into a commercial tricycle rider, picking and dropping passengers across path of the Abdelkuta, the Ogun State capital. He had in June donated tricycles to 85 persons as part of an empowerment program in honor of his 85th birthday. Obasanjo clocked 85 on, 20, on March 5th, 2022. Reacting, Shore said former President Olusegun Obasanjo riding Kekena Pep in Abeokuta is not a sign of simplicity. It is the tale of depravity occasioned by the wickedness he unleashed on the people during his tenure and subsequently after he kept choosing leaders for Nigerians. Nigeria should not be celebrating Kekena Pep in 2022. 
we should be in full mass transit mode with intercity and intracity urban mass transit, trains, clean energy pad, and affordable. We can't continue like this. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction? You know, ever since I heard about this issue, you know, late on Saturday night, I was like, I'm expecting Omoyele Shore to react to this because, you know, he worked on this uh, news, he published it. So, I'm expecting him to react. And finally, he has reacted. And can you just imagine the kind of reaction he had to this? That this is not the kind of celebration we ought to have in Nigeria. It is not worth celebrating. Papa Sonjo is riding Kekena Pep. It's not just because of anything, because his riding of Kekena Pep is a tale of depravity, wickedness he unleashed on Nigerians. He said it is not worth celebrating. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction concerning this? Why do you think Olusha Gombasunjo will just wake up one morning and just decide to start riding tricycle carrying passengers? Passengers from one place to their destination, from one place to another. Well, let's see what people have felt concerning this. Let's see people's reactions and know their own thoughts to this. Matthias De Jong reacted and said, I think it's so sad to see President Obasanjo mocking the poor Nigerians in that show of shame. Yes, I am a PDP member. Despite the fact that I'm a PDP member, that act of wickedness, you know, that act of wickedness should not be tolerated. The political class is responsible for this abject poverty on our streets today. That is our reaction from Matthias de Jong. What is your thought to this? That it is a shame to see President, or you know, former President Olusha Gnobasanjo in such a show. It's so unfortunate. I think it's sad to see him, you know, mocking the poor Nigerians in that show of shame. Even if I am a PDP member, that doesn't say that I should support everything that happens, not even in the show of wickedness that should not be tolerated because these same people are those ones responsible for the abject poverty on the streets of Nigeria today. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this current development? You cannot insult or criticize your way into presidency. That is what Sochukuchuks have also said to Nigerians why they should vote for you. What have you done? That warrant them to cast their vote for you. Nigeria needs to know your roles in bringing Buhari to power. How much it paid you to throw stone at Jonathan's government, but you still cannot wash that away, no matter how much you insult Buhari or Obasanjo. And that reaction from Tony Chuk saying that. Amo Yelisho is trying everything possible to get himself to the first position in Nigeria to attain the first, you know, seat. But he has forgotten the roads he partaked in during the tenure of Buhari and how he was used as an obstacle for Jonathan. He can't wash that away from the memory of Nigerians. What is your thought to this? A lot is happening. A lot is being said. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. Don't forget that ex-president Obasanjo is riding Kekena Pep and is riding is a tale of depravity, wickedness he unleashed on Nigerians and it is not worth celebrating. That's what the AAC presidential candidates have said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.